Yo, what up, Hawks fans? Eight and two, baby. Second best record in the East. You feel me? Only team in the NBA to beat Cleveland. And we beat them in Cleveland. You know what time it is, you feel me? You know what time it is. Listen, we just got that victory in Miami, you feel me? Hassan Whiteside, he got his little rebounds and points. But he got those when Howard got injured out the game. Uh, okay? So, guess what? We got a little ugly force at the end. But, hey, sometimes you got to grind those wins out, you feel me? But, let's skip that. Coach Bud, listen. We need to get a backup big man, ASAP, a 9 -1 -1, like yesterday. Because, guess what? That fourth quarter was a flashback of what we looked like last year and the year before that and the year before that. Just getting dominated in the paint by one dude. It was a flashback. Ask Boston how that feels now that they got Al Horford. We need to get rid of Splitter, okay? Fucking cut him. Eat the eight million or whatever. We need to find a, a person that's seven feet that can run, that can rebound. I don't care if he can score points. We need somebody that can rebound the ball, play some defense. Because Musky, he could. Man, White Side probably was just laughing like, really? This is what you all going to put on me, man? And he just do dominated him. He dominated him so much, the bug pulled him out of the game. We had to go to a Millsap to check White Side. Okay? That's not going to work. If we had to play like that the whole game, we probably would have lost. Okay? Probably would have lost. Okay. Hopefully, Dwight Howard will be ready to play tomorrow. Okay. And maybe, hopefully, he would just held out of the game just for uh, cautionary precautions. You know what I'm saying? But if Dwight Howard get hurt for a long stretch, we're going to be in some real trouble. For real. We're going to be in some trouble. So we need to find us a big man that could back him up. Okay. If he goes down. Just a solid big man. That's it. Okay, um, <sighs> bro, that for a quarter, I was just like, holy, cr and these fucking turnovers, man, we eight and two, I gotta look at the stats, we gotta be averaging about freaking 17 turnovers a night, golly, man, we gotta take care of the ball, guys, take care of the ball, them turnovers gonna come back to hurt us, man, just like they did in our two losses, okay, we got to do something with these turnovers. Be careful with the ball, man. Damn, you ain't got to rush all the damn time. You know? But these turnovers are ridiculous. Half of them, over half of them be unforced. Just some just bullshit turnovers, you know? Not paying attention to detail. Not making crisp passes and shit like that. Shit. But, hey, fuck it. We won the game, no man. I'll take that dub. We 8-2, okay? Second best record in the East, right behind the Cavs, okay? We coming for y'all, man. But, yeah, we got to get a backup center. ASAP. Today. Tomorrow. Last week. We can't wait. We got to make something happen, okay? Before we run up against these, before Dwight get hurt for real, because injuries do happen, he get hurt for real. He out, you know, two, three weeks. Then we're really going to be up Shit's Creek. Trying to run Muscala and Humphreys at center. That shit ain't going to work against no uh, real big man with some talent. Okay? We saw that today in the fourth quarter against Whiteside. That shit look just like Al Horford. That's how we look with Al Horford. That's how Boston look right now. How they get out-rebounded. You know? And you know, as an Atlanta Hawk fan, I'm used to getting out-rebounded. Until this year, now, you know, I'm so used to getting second-chance points and putbacks and offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. So that fourth quarter just blew my mind. I was like, it had me scared. I ain't going to lie. I was like, oh, my God, they're going to come back and win, you know. Luckily, my boy, Shruda, hit them two free throws so they can't baze more with the base gay $70 million man. Hit his two free throws, iced that game up. So... Hey, bud, make something happen. We need a big man, ASAP. I don't give a fuck. We got to go get motherfucking Shaq. We need somebody out there to put a body on these big boys. When uh, the time, when we play Cleveland, when we play Toronto with, Val uh, with Jonas, and when we go back against Miami. You feel me? All right, man. It's your boy, my 4K20. I'm out. Boom. True to Atlanta, you feel me?